Let me know about volume. We'll see, we'll see. Quarters. How's the volume, by the way? Is it okay? Yeah, you're just on time, Lucian. Just on time. You made it. I am dead. Platoon near, that's what it looks like. Thinking of near, I've been playing Nikkei again. I'm weak, okay. Tubby's Ash shows up in Splatoon. Number damage, woo! Let's get the other three. Splash damage, haha. Everyone loves numbers. Woo! Oh, don't forget if you buy a Capcom game from my Nexus store, you get a month of Discord Nitro. Has to be a Capcom game, though. It's a special... special thingy. Until they run out of codes. Does it already start? I can't tell. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide Good morning, for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. Wave 2, This <laughs> brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in Spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. The toys are back in town. Thank you, King. Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's what I said. Mario. <laughs> Here we go. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. If he doesn't flip around like a dingus, I'm out. Eyes on the prize. <laughs> Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges oh, He does do the swingy thingy. He, he needs to flip. Observation Where's the flip? <laughs> action are vital to your success. TVA game? Mario needs to reach the I was thinking like Game Boy game. I'm old. The gap. Hmm. It's like backflips that and shit. monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? That's rude. If Mario does this, now he can get across and safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Okay. Like that. Fine. Oh, the little cuties! Observe Look at them. and act to collect mini Mario's, clear stages, I like those and enemies. face cute. Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a it's friend a Jimmy Jam, in local co-op. However, you that jump normal, to right? puzzle your way through. It's up to you to recover the toys. Bricks don't hurt you if they hit your feet, apparently. Mario vs. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin Lou. today on Nintendo Wii Man, Shop. right meow. Save the prince and the world. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore it looks like the Overwatch world's balance. Graphics. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Yeah, Master Business, that's why I'm up early and I hate life. In a mythological Persian-inspired <laughs> world, 
but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. In Xeno Gears? Um, Harness sword and bow yeah, good luck. As well as time powers to best these hostile they lands. They have a prince? Ooh, ooh. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his Oh, is arsenal. he not the prince? <laughs> Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, oh. among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though, so choose Just think wisely. this is at, like, 7 a.m. for some people. Use at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malkath. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system, an Ubisoft January original. 18th, Look at it. You can receive the in game Warrior Within outfit by pre ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. These games will Castle. help you chase your passions. Oh boy. Rev up. Magical for true chase. Arcade nice. Racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed oh. through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Real stunning. Itching for more <laughs> racing action? Up to four speedsters Ooh. can put the pedal to the metal in couch. I'm not a fan of that graphical style. Go full throttle in Horizon Chase 2, launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Five bucks. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Super crazy rhythm Time castle. They have to tell you it's super crazy, so it sucks. puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Shit, they've got up to four friends can battle it out in uh, Castlevania <laughs> or jam together in local or <laughs> online play. back with this one game. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Anya, Anya Fortune has a new assignment from school, creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class. Then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places. Anya's cute. Like the beach or an art museum. Yeah, it's by a family game. It's a photograph. matter of time. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It does look like a cute chill game. I do enjoy those. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. Wow. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. All and what? <laughs> Why? Every successful <laughs> They're gonna give you a shit ton of enemies for no reason now. Gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move Maybe they'll actually make Gino so an interesting character. With different combos. No, I like Mario RPG. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these power extending content aren't gonna be the easy. same battle. Set off for the shiny stone was reacting. Mario and friends when Super Mario RPG Felix confirmed. launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre orders are available they showed the now door. on Nintendo eShop. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> that seems familiar. Is that a DS the game? Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the <laughs> Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. I Seeking wanted to play answers, that. I never got a chance. She sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island. In Is that a DS game? A DS game. Once yeah, okay. there. Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Can you see me? 
she also meets a mysterious boy. Ghost Which boyfriend. Await Ashley in this place. And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play Wait, did they say the first game was also or included? Story. <laughs> Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when Another Code Recollection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Fine, you got me on one game. Fine. Another code recollection includes Didn't expect two games, that. the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next never year. Never got a sequel. Next, please take a look at this. <laughs> One day. A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it. But then, the morning. <laughs> the wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play. Oh yeah, there's a Peach the game. I forgot. Last director, I was just like, there's a Peach this game. Bye. Performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's oh, shit, she gets a double trigger. to face off against the Sour Bunch. Gamer, hello. Sparkle Theater, yeah. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa, Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show stopping abilities. Is that abilities. one lady from MVC2? Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. Rito, can you Peach missed save everything. This performance and its performers? A uh, trace memory. There are more stolen shows to save. The DS game and the sequel are getting released on the Switch. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become detective control Peach, emotions, right? Investigate clues and track down who done it. Balan Wonder Peach, basically. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Jerks. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it Patissier? from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands Never on this hard. martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. But does she become a ninja? Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Gonna be a sleeper hit. That was a new look at the Princess Peach cute. Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Nani. A multi-layered RPG full of rich gonna say, don't be big-headed weird art style. Beyond. Saga friends there are six or heroes whatever. to choose from. <laughs> Like a fans ever are screaming. A young man fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious A gun boy that looks like he wants to be a GM in. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently okay, fine. reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey king of darkness, through 17 let's go. interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock I don't different know. paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Mm. <laughs> Fight in timeline battles.
turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. Use special techniques to control the order of the actions, Peach game. or activate team Little combos to swing change. the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The Legendary Raider returns. Tomb Raider Anniversary on the Switch. The first three Tomb Raider games, oh. all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Well, As she the fearless is. archaeologist, Lara Croft. You'll when I could actually play. <laughs> and face off against deadly foes and even deadly. They smoothed legends. her out. Climb. There's only triangle booba on the first game. And swan dive through perilous quests spanning Forget. different countries and mythologies. I was gonna Along say that still way, looks like shit. You'll oh. solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel <laughs> mysteries lost to awake. the ravages of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals. There's your triangle booba, Alton. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 I hope remastered the controls are better. starring Lara Croft launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre so they would remaster one when we already on have Nintendo anniversary. The anniversary is different. Blah, blah. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Her boobs haven't been polygons forever. Day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu. I feel like the controls for Tomb Raider were rough back in the day too. But going back to it now, it's just like investigate various cases <laughs> while searching Why? for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. They have a dance party. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available now That's on soon. Nintendo eShop. <laughs> This game's a real toot. The trombone game is getting released Raise on Switch. Your brass for the quirky rhythm game, <laughs> Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up no. and down. <laughs> or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Hey, I've known a lot of people that have enjoyed that game. nearly 50 <laughs> songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. And I... Look at that pasta. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. In Mother 3, wild. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove them off the collapsing terrain. Play this land. over overhead from whatever game. Heroes, each inspired <laughs> Generic by overhead mythology. action game. Work with your allies to be the My last brain brain eventually. Standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches Mother 3 as a battle royale, I would switch next spring. A be sad. close beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to Great value Baldur's Gate. most notorious figures. <laughs> Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop 
and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Wow. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES mm -hmm. classic, Contra. Blast through explosive Konami? stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into Contra. action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features oh, way new forward, weapons, nice. enemies, powerful super attacks, and a four player co-op see it from mode. here. Contra. Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. People like Contra. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Liberate these nuts. It is a grievous tale which speaks of Fevrith, one of stolen destiny. And they got near soundtrack? Crazy. And stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil. A fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn. And that almost look like vanilla wear royal lineage. art style. Legend speaks of your ancestors or wielding it? it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Looks very vanilla wear. Walk it, I will, mother. Freely traverse an expansive world. Here with games and Contra Corp. Gather maybe? new elves. I don't know. Forge your bonds and lead the liberation. To yeah, Odin Sphere's developer. Victory. Odin Sphere, Thirteen Cultivate Sentinels, uh, Muramasa. Sixty unique characters from humans yada yada. and elves to <laughs> massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair. Dragon's which Crown. Heavy over our home. There we go. I was like, there's another one. <laughs> take days, months, or even years. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. I was on PS2. I had it in Vanilla it. Atlas. Vanillaware. The rebirth of tactical Fine. Goddamn. Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> what? Available March okay. 8th, 2024. That's the title. Luigi's Not Mansion. Oh. Gonna be a unicorn overlord. <laughs> Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. HDs. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. You can even I wasn't this like a 3DS once. game. In this game, you'll find Ghosts Haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand, a mine covered in ice and snow, and even more places. Not a mansion, These then. troublemakers will use every trick in the GameCube? book to block I mean, the path. second one. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer modes. That's Luigi's too many Luigi's. Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. Mother 3. First, Please take a look at this video. Too many Luigi? Why does that matter? If I'm a woman? <laughs> what 
What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. I do love Museum. Luigi. I've never heard that. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. Go there. Wow. We'll share there won't more be an overpriced gift shop or anything. Date at another time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. Look out, and it's Ganon. And Amiibo figures of Noah and oh, they look cute. the Xenoblade you Chronicles 3 jerks. games will be released as a set on January 19th, you 2024. Jerks. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, oh, yeah. is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release Damn, I actually year. did them all. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. The Xenoblade ones look really good. Metro Prime 4? Oh. A new F-Zero game? Hmm? We're putting this on the Switch Zero Online, game. suckers. Returns as a 99-player battle royale. Why? F-Zero 99. Race on classic uh, okay. F-Zero courses That's what everyone with machines wanted. from the original Super NES game. Tear through courses in high-speed races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. F zero. <laughs> You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. How long do they Feeling turn it risky? off, right? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. Why's it got to be a 99 super game? Sparks, which appear when machines collide to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's just a your best chance at bypassing cluster. your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Wow, color palettes. <laughs> they really think there's gonna be 99 people that wanna race all the time. 99 players. One winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Because like F099 <laughs> will be available exclusively for today. active Nintendo Switch online members later today. Ooh. Free download. More Let's than play it. Years after its original release, F0 is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Lots of people, we yeah. Hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Like, okay, let's don't give us a new game. <laughs> one little hero, one humongous problem. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited whimsical. by small fuzzy beings <laughs> called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land got together two collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic but to they didn't stitch make it in Unity. City yeah, that Unity shit's together. fucked up. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further too, made in by Unity. embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Else. I was trying can to think, because it tells you in the Vandal beginning. City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across like, no, the no. frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, 
and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. Hey, right here. Greetings, welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. Shoot out an egg. In Woo. each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Free. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer mode never, to plenty, never. everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Nice to see you in Chronicles. Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. These three the band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. Hey, little sharkies. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. Yeah, the Kickstarter game. As mm -hmm. allies join you, additional facilities will become available. Looking You'll pretty be able nice. To tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, oh, shit. Magical justice, girls. <laughs> and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. Actual release date? Participate in some pixel perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Never Sam and John first turn the of pages Eastward. of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock, whip up culinary delights for your neighbors, and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this Eastward holiday. Eastward 99. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's group to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. You know what you think? Battle friends locally. Oh, cute. They're doggos. Or, online. or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Yeah, oops, War all tactics game. Two marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Here, chatter. Roach. <laughs> Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Don't make me want sushi. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. 
Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. Is there Fugu? Maybe. The final wave is <laughs> racing in. Here's a sneak peek at really wave six. The final words. wave of <laughs> the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in wave six. From the Mario Kart Double Dash game, and there's your Kong. Uh, From Mario Kart Wii, and Diddy Kong, Kong Racing. Yeah, if you didn't know her name, From she's Daisy, Mario she'll tell you. Tour game, Pauline. And also, Peachette. Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives like onto right. Nintendo Switch this holiday. Just throw another peach in there. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members yeah, no can Bowser, enjoy this DLC right? at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Zenith Something Martin. new is among us. Oh boy. Six year old go nuts. Are they a peach fan? Thirteen-year-olds everywhere. Code fungus. The fungal. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Gonna play F099 chat. <laughs> that, oh God. Another code's pretty high. Viruses are scary. Uh, Death by Muggle, thanks for gifting a sub to Corgi Butt. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. I'm not an F-Zero hater. I've never hated Let's it. This next video party. will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Other three. Wanda. I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> God damn it. Paper Mario, whatever. Yeah, I'm going back to bed. Thank you so much for eight months. <laughs> I know a lot of people will be excited about this. I'm happy for them. Scary. 
Anonymous, thanks for gifting a a tier three sub. Oh god, the pajama slayer. Yeah, the game is pretty pricey, isn't it? On the sidewalk. <laughs> this is a uh, oops all Mario's and a couple things. Thank you so much for the 500 bitties. Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you'll look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. You did Chronicles of Rage. I cried. And, yep, yeah, bought three copies immediately. <laughs>